Brexit Year MP reveals plan to use the Queen to stop Tory rebels seizing control of Commons. Andrew Bridgen claimed Boris Johnson's government can stop Conservative rebels from blocking a no-deal Brexit by asking the Queen to refuse the law as he supported the need for a general election so MPs can be judged by our constituents. The Conservative MP said Queen Elizabeth could refuse royal assent and stop Tory rebels from allowing Mr Johnson to exit the EU without a deal on October 31st. The Prime Minister has previously said he would not ask the EU Council for a delay and continues to pledge for the UK to leave on Halloween. Mr Bridgen noted former Labour leader Tony Blair asked the Queen to refuse Tam Dalyell's bill in 1999 which gave MPs a vote on action against Saddam Hussein. However, the Queen didn't give it royal assent. Speaking to Sky News, Mr. Bridgen said, the government could ask the Queen to refuse royal assent in which case it won't become law. Tony Blair did it in 1999 to stop Tam Dalyell's bill which would have given MPs a vote on action against Saddam Hussein. Mysteriously that didn't get royal assent but straight after the debate today and the vote, we are going to have a vote under the fixed-term Parliament Act on a general election. As Philip said we should all act in what we believe is in the best interest of our constituents and our country. In the general ballots, our constituents can judge us for the things we've done and the thing we've said and the way we've voted over the last two years. Mr Bridgen's comments come after former colleague Philip Lee defected from the Tory party and joined the Liberal Democrats. He expected Mr Lee to leave the Conservatives ahead of the summer recess. Dozens of Tory MPs lost the whip after voting against Mr Johnson on Tuesday night but Mr Bridgen said they could regain it today. Rebel Tories and opposition MPs succeeded in taking control of parliamentary business earlier this evening by 328 votes to 301, giving them a majority of 27. They will seek to pass a law forcing Boris Johnson to ask the EU to delay Brexit until January 31 unless he has a deal approved by Parliament beforehand on the terms and manner of the exit. The Prime Minister said after the result was announced that it was on the brink of wrecking any deal with the EU. The Prime Minister confirmed he was tabling a motion to call for an early general election on today. Mr Bridgen added, they can save themselves by voting with the government today and regain the whip. As to Philip's defection, we were expecting Philip to move to the Liberal Democrats ahead of the summer recess. I wonder how the people of Bracknell feel now that their MP has joined the Liberal Democrats, he was voted in as a Conservative. The Liberal Democrats' policy on Brexit is that they want a second referendum but as Joe Swinson has made very clear if the country voted again to leave, they still wouldn't accept the result. 